Welcome back to Mr. Prasam's Adventure. Today we are doing our part one of Rate the Snack Challenge. As you can see, we got a whole bunch of snacks. Some of them are from Japan, some of them are from China, from Thailand, from Korea. A lot of times we don't even know what it is. I have my boy Mega X Raptor here Yo. joining me for this snack challenge. Are you ready to try these snacks? Yep, I am. All right, awesome. And we've got our possums joining us today. So this yeah. is a possum channel. If you would like a possum of your own, go to my Instagram, Mr. Possum's Adventure, because I do sell them there. And they are all handmade plush toys. All right, so what do we want to try first? Um, what looks good? Let's try this. This looks interesting. All right. It's like going for the sweets. Going for the sweets. All right. Gummy, so. Gummy soft candy, and it looks like it's like soda flavor. Yep, it says here. soda. And it says soda. made in Japan. Uh, the packaging, as you can see, is amazingly looking. It's always so colorful and fun. All right, you ready to try? Yep, let's. All right, let's do it. It's got a little notch to try. I do have scissors in case we need to open. Oh, but let's see what kind of flavor do you want to try? Blind, and we got ooh orange. You got orange. I okay. So the flavors they have: apple soda, watermelon, grape, and orange. So I want to try watermelon. Why not? Alright, so, yeah. right. Pretty hard to open. So, right. yeah. so it's already points taken off for opening. I'm just kidding. We're only rating in uh, well actually packaging is a part of a snack. I feel like it's an important factor so far. Yeah. It rates But that's like every candy has that. Alright, so it I'm looks the kinda looks, hard. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Pachu? Mm. No, I'm not sure. Yep. It's mm. not very watermelon -y actually, but kind of. Okay, well, I'd say it's not bad, but I feel like I have to work. Sorry, I have to work a lot on eating it. Yeah. Um, so I'll give this a 6 out of 10 because it's got a good flavor. The middle is a little bit carbonated kind of. So a 6 out of 10. I would, yeah, well, I would say 5 out of 10 for me simply because it's not as gummy or chewy yeah, as so I would hope it to be. Our things combined, let's make it a 5.5. 5.5? I yeah. think that's, uh, that's fair. The flavors are good. Yeah. The texture could be better, but the flavors weren't really wow me. And the soda yeah. inside, it wasn't really carbonated. I don't know what they were going for. All right, so nice snack. All right, you pick one. I picked one. Okay, one. I've been eyeing this, whatever this Ooh. is on the stick. So I have no, oh, it says spicy tofu. I didn't even read in the background. Uh, in the back of it, it does have it in English. I think oh. this is from, Ooh. I, I, I don't know, actually. And I can't see where it's from. Let I can see. see. Can you? This is. I know, right? It's so tiny. Okay, well, I think it's just Thailand. Look. No. It's a I don't know. I think it's Thailand. All right, if you recognize, I think it's either Korean or Chinese. If you recognize, let us know. But it is spicy tofu snack. So and on the bottom? That's going to be. Oh, there is a tear. Okay. Oh, it's got, oh, it smells spicy. Oh, it's smelling. Smell it? Smell it? Mm, Ooh, smell I'm a little smoking. scared. It smells like jerky. I know. I'm a little scared, but it's tofu. Oh, it's oily, too. Grab that napkin. Just for this, should we should we try this for this? Oh, yeah. Yes. We also have Dr Dragon Ball Z Passion Fruit Flavor Sparkling Water, I think it is. I don't know. There's a yogurt one and many other ones. Yeah. So, yeah, this it's is gold. Cool. Golden Frieza. All right. Yeah, let's right. open it up. Good idea. Just so, in case we need some rescue. Easy to open. Let's smell. Mm. Got a good like smell. Mm. Like it smells like smell. passion. Yeah, that's smells right. like passion. All right, grab a napkin just in case it's dripping. 
And do you want to be the first one to yep. try it? Since, All right. Since if you don't know, I kind of like spicy stuff, so. All right, yeah, Mega Extract that can handle quite a lot of uh, spicy stuff. He's amazing. I can. Um, I'm really a lightweight when it comes to it. Mmm. I don't know if I want to try it now with his face. It's not spicy, it's just, it's weird. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of it. Well, it's I know it tastes like a little bit of jerky, but like that's hard because it's like I know it's tofu at the same it time. It does not so taste like, like tofu. You're right. Yeah, so like I'll give this a f I'll give this a five. I'm not a big fan of it. I actually like it. It's got um light spice. It's got the flavor. It has the texture of tender meat, but it's not meat. It's tofu, which is like if I don't want to eat the meat, I would go for it and kind of tastes like um. It would satisfy the craving. So I would say it is a it's a seven out of ten for me. So let's add those two together. Hmm. Six. Let's make it a six out of ten for this. Alright. So the Sounds highest fair. rating is that. Alright. Uh, so now let's try this since Yeah, I definitely need to cleanse my palate now. So let's try this. Hmm. It doesn't have that much of a flavor, so like it's not overpowering, but it tastes good. Yeah, it has a very mild passion fruit flavor. Um, light carbonation. I don't even like carbonated drinks, yeah. but this is really pleasant. So I'll give this a 9. A nine. Yeah, I'd say if I wanted a refreshing drink, this is a 9 out of 10 for me as well. So, high score. So let's put the high score All right. right here. I like it. I like the soda a lot. And I'm excited to try other flavors because at the store we did see a whole bunch of uh, anime character and cartoon characters. Yeah, like Ryu from Street Fighter. Okay, he knows them all. I don't. Um, yeah. So I'm excited to try them. All right, so you get to pick the next one. Ooh, ooh this one's been hiding behind, oh, in front of me. Ooh, look around. Cola. So it seems like from the packaging, it seems like a sparkling kind of because right here you can see it's a bomb mm. inside of a packet right there. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, and also, okay. let me just say that I absolutely love the packaging itself. It's got like this comic book. Uh, look to it. Yeah, I can't see where it's made and I don't recognize the unfortunately I'm very bad when it comes to different writing. Can so I, find out? Uh, I don't see Products of Japan. Yeah, it, product is, of Japan. Um, it is from Japan and it's like even a little like comic books about like these two people trying it and they say Ooh, oh cola Anyway, they seem to be very excited. So this so, one, I think. Let me let me cut that. Uh, no. Oh, I wanted to save the bag. Okay, it's so cute. Yeah, okay. save it. All right. Okay. All so right. Grab one. You first. Oh. Right, That's my one. trick. I make him taste everything first, and I see if I want to put it in my mouth or not. Sorry. Oh, good job on tearing. I can't tear. So. It. All right. So. It's got powder on it. I yeah. Oh, that's sour. not what I thought it was. It's sour. It smells sour. Ooh, you're right. You know what? For fun. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, it is so sour. Yo, that is like straight up acid on, not acid, like um, citric acid, like Oh my goodness, that was sour. Try it now when it's gone. The sourness. Okay. Mm. It's hard on the inside. Mmm. Mmm. If you crack it in half, buy it. Mmm. I don't want to buy it. Dental work is expensive. Yeah. Mm. It just cracked in half. Yeah, it's carbonated in the middle. It tastes like fruit beer or Coca Cola or somewhere in between. Mmm. I can bite into it. In the, in, the, in the middle? In the you middle. don't have to crack it in half. The bubbles are going from the inside through the candy and into my mouth. That is so fun. Oh, yeah. So, for the beginning, it's just a pop. That is so funny. And this guy, I don't know what Nobel is. I guess it's the brand. And this guy's like, I don't know if you can see it. He's like, oh, Nobel. So, hmm. Okay. Why was the Nobel award? I don't want to eat the whole thing. I've saved it, but dang! Oh my gosh, it's even bubbling. See yeah, how it's bubbling? 
that is a fun snack. But let me tell you, if I didn't know that it was so good inside, I'd probably spit it out because it was super, super sour on the end. It doesn't really taste good, right? That sourness? Well, yeah. It's, it's not like, like Sour Patch good. or anything. Yeah, but like overall, this I would give it an 8 out of 10. Just If that wasn't super sour on the outside, then I would have gave it a 10. I would say when you first put it in your mouth, it's like a 3 out of 10. Like I would have spit it out. But, but once you get past yeah. that, I would say it's a, like a 7 out of 10 for me so too. So 7.5. Yeah. So... The still highest rating is that soda. Yeah. It is a, uh, well, let's have a sip to wash down all that sour. Mm-hmm. And yes, we are sharing a can of soda, but that's okay. If we get sick, we get sick together. We're not we sick. Sick buddies. <laughs> there you go. All right, you pick one. I pick this. All right. Super cola. Uh, I would say, oh my gosh, I picked out all the fish ones, so... This called, this is a surimi content, 60%, so I'm guessing it's a fake crab. Um, it's got a picture of a crab on it. It yeah. looks really cute. It's got a polar bear on it. Oh, and it's got like, oh, that looks so cool. If it's like mm -hmm. sticking out and stuff. I think this is, let's see what it is. Probably has it on the back. Product of China. Okay, so this is from China. Uh, it's called Bei, I'm not even, mm -hmm. Bei Hai, I don't know. Bei Hai. That, I don't sorry know. for the people that know what this says. This yeah. is the best we can find out. Okay, I can't open it, so, so I'm going to use scissors. The package is very attractive. I like it. Um, all right. You got one. Oh, that's so cute. Do you want to just uh, go halves on that? Uh, yep. So, all right. So, we have it to is cut it because it's dry like... freeze packaged. And Wait. It looks like a crab stick, really. Like one of yep. those fake crab sticks. So, like. Alright, so we're gonna cut it a little bit. Of course, I'm gonna have half by since. Hmm. Can I smell? No, it kind of looks like aged crab stick. I mean, it smells okay, right? No? Hmm. Do I have to try it? No, just for Come on. It's got a weird fish flavor, but at the same time, I don't like it, so. It's supposed it's, to be that way. It's got a fake texture to it. Well, it is fake. It's actually, I think, so like, made I, out of fish. I, I like, I'll give it, I'm going to be generous here. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I think it tastes very much like, better than crab snacks because it has a more, like, umami flavor to it. Oh. So, actually, I feel like this is a very successful snack if you're into this kind of thing. So, yeah, so like if you're not into fishy kind of flavors, then this is probably not going to be for you. So, I would give it actually a an 8 out of 10 for me. So, 7.5 again. All right. All right. 7.5. I'm picking. All right. That so, one. Mr. Bear. Oh, what is oh, this? Mr. Possum. I think the viewers saw this. A I say, story. how about, because it's cakes. Now hear me out. Because it's cakes, how about we leave it to the end in case this is gross? So this oh, way yeah. is a consolation prize. Oh yeah. So let's have this. All right. Gotta tear it here. I can just All right. tear it open. Oh, and let's let's say what it is actually. This is this seems crispy anchovy with herbs. All right, and we do like fish snacks. We do yeah. like those things. So. It's a great snack for just sitting around, and I feel like it's a little bit healthier than like potato chips and stuff. Since it's like fish and stuff, so. All right, so they are actually so little you? crispy fried anchovies with sesame seeds on them. It smells like what you would think. Mm. The honey flavor ruins it. Mm. It's got the fishiness in it, but it's also sweet, well, which makes it weird. After that, the after, the, yeah, the three we out both of ten. like fish. Three and, out of ten. Yeah, I would say three out of ten. I feel like this Close is the bag that oh. I'm not. I'm not gonna be finishing it. Oh. Uh, uh, Sorry, anchovy. Uh, rescue yes. soda, rescue soda. Good job on taking a big bite out of that, though. Thanks. All right. Our mm. constellation prize. All right. Oh, All right. So this one is the worst. Yeah, the worst one ever. Okay. Cakes. And let me just say how much I love the colors, yeah, the colors on, it. on it. I like how they like advertise the colors. 
just whip it open. Nice. And All right, what color would you like? Ooh, I'm gonna grab melon cake. I think that's melon orange. cake. Nice. Nice. And there is um so ooh, pandan. Got... Yeah, pandan is like I think a fruit or something. I would think so. Oh yeah, I don't know what a pandan is. By the is. way, leave a comment. Let us know what it is so that we we don't have to Google. It says this egg is sugar. I don't know. Oh. So apparently, this is from Philippines. All right, we love Philippines. So we got straw, and I want to see what other flavors you have. You have strawberry. Oh, you got. I think this is. Ooh, this is looks that like great? Like, no. <gasps> ube. Ube is very. There's a lot of ube stuff. We actually almost picked up ube mochis, but we decided against that. So that's yeah. gonna be another video. We have a couple of different mochis to try. Yeah. All right. So uh, is that all the flavors? Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right. It says oh no, wait. What's the brown? <gasps> mocha. 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 All right. Mocha. mocha. And I would like to try ube. So, so. So in the comments, y'all, let us know what a pandan is because I don't want to try that right now. I'm gonna leave it for later. Ooh, so it's like a sponge cake. Ooh, sponge yes. Cake. Let's try it. All right. Oh, that is. Ooh, it smells so sweet. It tastes like Starbucks. Really? I want yours. Here, try it. Really it's dry, good. so you would have to have like, but with tea or something, this is perfect. Really try nice. This. this is like a form mocha. Mocha sponge cake. Alright. Oh my goodness, this has so much coffee flavor in it. Mmm, it is over bread. This Dang. is really cool. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I would say, well, I would say 9 out of 10 because it is really dry, so you can't really eat it by itself. But with like tea or coffee or, um, or soda? Or the mocha one with coffee? Oh my goodness, that would so be good. So 9.5, so this is beet. Mmm, yeah. So like, oh, there's my napkin. So let's put this in second place, but then first. Oh, I stole your coffee one here. Wait, give me, yeah, give me back my coffee. Give me back my coffee. I don't know what this flavor is. It's just sweet to me. I don't think the flavor of whatever ube is uh, comes through. But then again, I don't really know what ube is. So for all I know, that's exactly what it tastes like. Just to be, just to be objective here. But yeah, this is a very lovely snack and I enjoy it immensely. And that's about it. Oh, except I do have a surprise for you. What? I, what? What do you think it is? Um, I have one more thing that we can try. <laughs> Big top boys. Um, this all right. Is Assorted pudding, and you see they're like little fruits in the thing. Thank you so I much. I know you're so welcome. All right, let's do it. All right, so let's twist that. So I love these containers. I reuse them for other things. I keep like so, bags in there and all sorts of things. But I'm gonna try this. So how does it work? Is this an or? No, this is a mango. I think you just bite into it straight. Yeah, you bite. Uh, these are the I ones think, that you bite well, into. Well, that's it. why I have the scissors. We got grape, lemon. Strawberry. What am I doing? I'm gonna do a mango. So you can't go wrong with a mango, mine. right? Open. Let me cut my nose open. Like that. There. Ooh, All right. Look at it. Mmm. It's not jello. This is pudding. I mean, not pudding. This is jello? I mean, yeah, this is jello. Mmm. It is a jello snack. It's very light. It's not overly sweet or anything. Very refreshing. I can see myself just like popping one of those. The only thing is that I think you need scissors in order to open it. I don't know if you can open it without scissors. Yeah, but like, but overall, I'll give this a 10 out of 10 because it doesn't matter if you need scissors. Like, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. So 10 out of 10? Mm. I would say it's um 8 out of 10 for me. So, it's not very so flavorful. we'll say a 9. So we'll say and I put together. Yeah. It's so, refreshing. It's simple. It's jello. Um, I feel like the flavor could be a little bit more popping. But overall, it is really nice. Well, there you have it. I like, I like this cool container. Okay. I know. It okay. is kind of cool. There we go. And you just puff it up. I wonder if I can reuse it for crafts or something. That's oh, what yeah. I like mean. put less resin in it? Yeah, maybe. We'll have to think of it so we can reuse it instead of throwing more plastic out there. So there you have it, everyone. 
this is the snack rate the snack challenge i hope you enjoyed it we do have many more snacks to try yeah. in another video so i hope we come back or yeah. i hope you come back we are gonna come coming back because we got all these snacks to eat yep and thanks mega x raptor no problem did i get it right yeah i did get it right so check out his channel very cool funny videos and we'll be doing more of this so thanks a lot all bye